Hi guys, this is T-Roger Gessa, and we're back for part 12 of Let's Play in Azuma 11 1, The Dream Begins. Um, kinda trying to keep quiet because I've kinda got visitors in my household, so yeah. They kind of don't know I do these videos, I've asked my parents to, you know, try and keep quiet. Obviously I don't, I don't expect them to stay quiet. So if you hear like little noises or something like that, or sort of people speaking, Loudly, it's just them, so yeah. Anyways, let's carry on. Last time we left off, we just talked to um, Mr. Veteran here, or one of the Veteran Brothers, and he told us about a certain team, a certain Raimon team that appeared more than 40 years ago, named, uh, uh, named as the they were named as the Inazuma 11 so today I believe we'd, we were trying to find the Inazuma drop paperwork stuff like that transfer thing Mijigi, the Hizatar manual so yeah Bobby have you finished your transfer paperwork? yeah I guess so so uh, what happened to that secret special move? How come you know about it? <laughs> How come you know about that? Er, uh, well, I heard I heard y'all talking about it. The special move got burnt, so we thought we'd go down by the riverbank to practice. Well, but you should come with us. Now? Okay then. I'm looking forward to seeing Axel's skills. Great, let's go. Time for practice at the riverbank. Is Bobby coming with us? Yes, he is. And now we need to go change. Yeah, I thought so. Please put Bobby in your party. Um, who should I take out? I will take out... I will take out Todd for Bobby. Hang on. Oh. Oh, I can just do that then. Done. <laughs> Not bad. Alright. Bobby Sherry is going with you. Obviously, Jack stays behind to see if he can find it. I really can't forget about it. I'll just check one last time to see if anything survived. Uh, what's this? What's this? It's some kind of racy book. It's positively saucy. This is positively saucy. Yeah. Oh, you again. Oh yeah, he's Scottish, isn't it? Uh, oh, oh, you again. What you up to? Uh, that's nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Obtain racy comet. If you don't know what that means, it's basically porn. Yep, I said it. Hang on. <laughs> it seems so weird with the, like, non-main characters of this series just coming up and talking out of nowhere. Hang on, where's Jack going off to? Well... We lost the special move, so we probably went off to mop, mop around somewhere, mop around somewhere. What is he like? I thought he wanted to show his brother how cool he was. Oh well, we'll just have to go to practice, go and practice without him. Yep. Okay. Can we go now? Yeah. Okay. Friends. Oh. Okay. Jack's here, and then when Jack comes back, I'm gonna take take off Todd. So yeah, he doesn't have it yet. Oh yeah. Who did I give it to? Yeah, you might realize that um, Todd and Gaunt have different 
his guitars than the last time we left off, the ones that we gave to them in the last episode. That is because T. Rodriguez was foolish enough to, when, when I stopped um, the recording yesterday, I accidentally pressed my power button and completely forgot to save. And I tried to speed run through everything that I did in the last episode, and I couldn't remember who I gave the moves to. So, Comet Shot and I think it's Quick Draw are out of place. Don't judge me on that. I think that's how it is. So yeah, sorry about that, guys. But apart from that, that's really just about it. Uh, which way are we going? We're going to the riverbank. Um, no, that's too short of a video to end it there. Five minutes in. See, the thing is, I kind of want to do something before we head off to uh, the football frontier against Wild. I kind of want to train up a bit with a certain thing that Celia, uh, Sylvia rather, has to offer. So yeah. All right. Off we go. Now, if you remember last episode, um I took off Mark's bracelet, the Gordy bracelet, I think it was. I think it was the Gordy bracelet. Uh, just for the sheer fact, it was annoying me, the the hell out of me. Just because when you have it on, it just it's really annoying. You just get battles after battles, and I'm gonna quickly up Axel's kick here. That was a little special training bonus there. That that one's a kick. As is the one on the tower, so yeah. Um there we go. Uh that left me with thirty one I believe. Yes. Let's get you up to thirty. Okay, there we go. Kinda got a cold right now, so yeah. Ooh, hello. I remember you. Ah, oh, okay, so this is what we have to do today. What? Is there something you wanted to say? Oh, okay, we have to talk to Millie, not this guy. Hey Mark, help. What's the matter? Hi. I haven't seen you here before. Who are you? Who are you supposed to be? I'm from Umbrella Junior High's football club. They're a junior high? Really? I'm busy talking to this little brat here, so don't get in my way. Ooh, that's not very nice. They came out of nowhere. They asked us if we wanted to play football, so we had a match, but... They won the match, and they told us we promised that we'd give them the pitch. But we never agreed to anything like that. Yes, you did. You knew the terms of our wager and lost. Wait, they don't even know what wager means. What's a wager? There, there, you go, there you go. What's a wager? I don't even know what that means. When Mr. Sweet or the grown-ups are around, these boys act nice as pie. But as soon as the grown-ups the grown leave, they all start acting like this. They're just a big bunch of cheaters. You're supposed to be in a football club, aren't you? Oh wait, this is Bobby talking, sorry. You're supposed to be in a football club, right? Why don't you practice at school? Uh, anyways. <laughs> yes, that's a good question, actually. It's her fault for falling for it. Or, uh, losing the wager. Whatever you might want to say. You lot are a bunch of cowards, you won't get away with this. You will have to play us next. <laughs> sure, but if we win, we get what we want. We get the pitch and you have to buy us all new, uh, some new boots. Oh, come off it. Why do they have to spend their po pocket money on you? Don't worry, Millie. There's no way this lot can beat us. People who don't respect the game or football won't have l any luck on the pitch. 
Ooh. Stop waffling. Oh, oi. <laughs> My bad. Stop waffling. Are you ready to play or not? Yes, we are. And he says, ha ha ha, and yet another sucker. I don't think so. Now before we carry on, laptop forward, off to the side, match position ready. Actually that's a bit bad. There we go. And I completely skipped that, oh well. Basically when the grown ups are, oh wow. When the grown ups are around, they act nice as can be. And Bobby said something there, but I couldn't be bothered to read it, so yeah. Bobby! Oh, I love this song so much. Oh, wrong button. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to change this, don't I? Um, He has killer slides, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Um, Yeah, it's okay, actually. You don't have anything, you don't have anything, you don't have anything, you don't have anything, you don't have anything. Oh, wait. There you go. Okay. I think that's about right. So we have a new player. We have little Bobby here, Bobby Shearer. And yeah, he's okay. He's a good defender. And this is Umbrella. Ingram, Strike, Sefton. I love this formation so much. Actually, eh. Oh, this is the Death Zone formation. No, I don't like that, 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 that formation. I don't like it. Alright, so this keeper here has Tornado Catch. Not really effective. Killer slide, spinning cut, which I find annoying. Quick draw, nothing. Rodeo clown and whirlwind twister, flurry dash, nothing. Spinning shot and dash accelerator and snake shot. I might get cyborg. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I'm gonna write that down. I might as well write that down. I actually forgot about um umbrella here. Well, we played them. So yeah, um, yeah, that's about it, really. That's really the only person that's actually good in this team, at least for early stages. All right. And. We're round about in the right position, so yeah. I'm gonna have to play like this. Not the best of positions, but hey. Let's go. To Axel. Axel has type advantage, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. They're both fire. Fire! Tornado! Tornado catch it! In, of course it's in. What's funny is the fact that uh, the way I'm recording this, it sounds so loud but I've noticed that um, even with the volume on full which it is right now it's not actually that loud it's more my voice so yeah it's okay it might be a pain for me but you know without that you, you guys wouldn't really be able to hear the music so and some of the music in this is actually quite good so yeah and Back into position, there we go. Completely skip that guy. Uh no his guitars yet. Steve's in line number seven for some reason. Oh yeah, the numbers are always set. So yeah. 
Depending on the formation that you have, wait. Fire! Tornado! Okay, that's 2-0. Uh, depending on the formation that you have, the numbers are set. So, yeah. Might as well have that in mind. In Raimon... Uh, bloody old Mark. Shut up. You're loud. Alright, I'm gonna show you what I mean. This... In this formation, it's always set. So Mark will always be number one. Todd, or whoever's the left back, will always be number two. The left centre back, number three. Right centre back, number four. Right back, number five. Uh, left mid, six. Left centre mid, seven. Right centre mid changes, it goes to nine. So left centre mid is seven. Right centre mid is nine. Uh, Right mid is 8, and then right striker will always be 10, and left striker will be 11. As for the rest of them, well, it will be 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, so yeah. But that will always be set, I don't know if I have any other formations right now. I have the ghost dance, which is a Colts one. Uh, whoever's there is number 1. Whoever's on uh, left back is number four, left centre back two, right centre back three, yeah, 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 right back five, right, left mid, I guess, left mid, left centre mid eight, centre mid six, right centre mid seven. Left striker 11, right striker 10, center striker 9, butterfly midfield block. Alright, back to basics. So, yeah, it depends on the formation in season 1. In season 2 and onwards, you can choose. No, in season 2, you can kind of differentiate. You can, I guess, choose your number in a way. You'll see what I mean when I come to do the LP of Blizzard. Just trying to... There we go. It's really hard to hold it and play at the same time, so yeah. Ugh. We could draw! Oh! Where are you, Kevin, man? Wow, that was a big pass. One that wasn't necessary. Oh, type advantage for the keeper here. But we're going to use Dragon Tornado, so yeah. Dragon Tornado! Ooh, we have 24 TP left. You know what that means. You know what that means. That means we can use uh, Dragon Crush, but we have to fire up first. And I'm gonna put this down because it's been it's annoying me now. Since the, the loudness of the volume is now annoying me. You can hardly hear that now, neither can I. Got honest. I can hear that pro probably you guys can't. So sorry. It's just it annoys me after a while. To, for it to be that loud. Uh, no TP. Okay. Let's go fire it up. Let's get fired up. Pass it up. To Kevin. Kevin, go. Don't get tackled. Ooh, you're about to get tackled. So I'll dragon crush it from here. Dragon crush it. And I'm hoping that's in. Tornado catch it. I'm like right next to the volume here. No! And that hurts. That's hurting my ears so badly. But anyway. Oh yeah, one more thing. Whenever someone scores, uh, the person who scores will always talk. The person that just got scored against, their captain, will always say something in this first season. It, 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 it's kind of different in second season, so yeah. 
It's something I picked up on actually quite recently. Um, is there anyone that can shoot? I don't think there is. So, um, let's check. Is there anyone that can shoot? My screensaver just went off. Is there anyone that can shoot? Can shot? Well, that I can see. Ooh, you can shoot. Ooh, oh, you can shoot. Oh, okay. Let's carry on then. No, that was too hard. Too big, of a, too big of a pass. And I've just realised we're still we're 24 minutes in to the first half. 25, almost 26. Um, no one's with me. Steve, hurry up, run, run, boys, run. Did we just lose the ball? Yep, we just lost the ball. Okay. Um, go, Kimmy, I guess. Let's put you up here. Surprisingly, they normally pass it backwards. If not, I've always got it covered. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't go for that. Don't go for that, because you'd be offside. He would be offside if had he gone for that. Tackle him! Thank you. See if we can get the S rank before the L half finishes. Which I very much doubt it. Come on. Ah! Alright, that, that's fair enough. So yeah, as you can see there. 31. It does that every single time. It even does it now in the cro in Chronostone. Yeah. Basically, Axel remembers what happened there. Is Axel remembers a, cl uh, a school getting disbanded for a while because of their manners. This was that, and that was Umbrella Junior High. All right, let's go. Let's go get that S rank. Really? Use that accelerator. Really? Really? Just really? Come on. And he uses it again. Oh man. Mine. If not, it's it's definitely someone. Alright, there we go. Where's Steve? Oh wow, Steve, you're over here. Go Steve! Oh no, he has spinning cut, doesn't he? Oh, he, he got it anyway. My hands are hurting now. So the position that I'm in. Come on. That's mine, that's mine. Thank you. What? What? They're having a shot on goal, you dumb. God hand. Snake shot! Oh god, no. Oh wait, that's not type advantage. Never mind. Go to Hando! Save! It's a shame they don't level up. Oh well. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh god, I hate that. Uh, yeah. Go, Steve! Steve! Steve, rolling kick for the win. Lolling kick. Yes, I just said lolling. They can't pronounce. Japanese people cannot pronounce their R's. They say L. The syllable is L. So yeah, la, la. Lolling kick. I think Japanese people don't hate. I'm trying to say it the best I can. Ow. That whistle. That whistle. Really, Edmonds? My god! The hell is wrong with you? 
What are you? Come on, Steve. If you won't get it, I know who will. Colton! Don't know what that is in Japanese, don't ask. Go, Sam! Go, Sam! Go, Sam! Wow, you're, you're slow. You're slow. You're slow. You're slow. You're slow. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay, good. Grenado! Shut up! Oh, wow. Have, is my DS been there the whole time? Wow. I've been playing without even realizing it. That would be 6-0. Ah, uh, wait, what was that? Was that for a minute? They look like level up, but it's a nice bonus. Then we're winning six nil. Oh, I don't have the S button here. Oh, it's a shame. If you don't know what that is, that's a long shot. Come on, Sam. Get it. No, don't kick it away. Really? I would so love that went in. Just randomly just went in. Alright, full time, whatever. Yeah, so win for Ryamon, blah blah blah, let's go on, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Level ups. All of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A bit more. A bit more. Ooh, we got the umbrella kit and... Horse Junior, excellent. Nathan have got all special moves. Horse Junior got bewildered. Nathan got quick draw, and Axel got heat tackle. I still don't understand why heat tackle is a dribble hesitar and not a block hesitar. What the hell, level five? Explain me that one. How is heat tackle? The thing is, even in second season. In the game, he uses heat tackle as a block. And I'm thinking, wow, okay. The first time I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, that's good. He uses heat tackle as a block now. They changed it. Nope. They trolled me. Level 5 trolled us. They, he still uses it as a dribble in second season. And I completely skipped over what Millie said there, sorry. Phew, I'm glad that's sorted. Hey Axel, where are you going? Sorry, but there's something I've got to do. I'll be going now. Where? Can I come with you? I, I accidentally didn't realize that was Bobby saying it for a minute there, sorry. Where? Can I come with you? You may be a fan, but I don't know you. Stop following me around. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, hey. No need for attitude. Blaze, where do you think he always goes off to? He keeps sneaking off through the back gate. The back gate? There's only really a hospital out that way. Do you think he could be ill? I don't think so. A hospital? I see. That's what it's all about. Uh, I mean, you might expect a star player like him to just do as he pleases. Wait, what? You know what's going on! You know about his sister, don't you, Bobby? You know about his sister, Yuka, or Yuta, right? Uh, no, it is Yuka, I got it right the first time. I need to remember that. Yuka. You know about Yuka, don't you? You know about his sister. Well, I'll be off too. Getting used to this new school. It's making me darn tired. Why are you running then? Mark? Don't you think Bobby's behavior is a little suspicious? It's like he's trying to find out something. Really? I haven't noticed any... Wow! You haven't noticed anything strange. Wow! How delirious can you 
B mark. Wow. But his football skills, they're really, they're the real thing. Did you see how he handled the ball? He didn't even touch the ball once. What are you talking about? <laughs> What's funny is I'm, I'm really hoping that's right. I think in the game we just had that he did not touch the ball. So, yeah. You might be right. There's no point talking about it now. Let's go head back to the club room. Oh, hello. We, we saw you in the first episode and I said your name by accident. Which I wasn't meant to because you say your name here. Hey, have you got a moment? Huh? I've heard that someone has been teaching kids football here. Do you know anything about that? Oh, you mean Mr. Sweet? Yeah, he taught us how to do the, do the Dragon Crash. What? The Dragon Crash? Evans, come on, we're waiting. Evans. Did he say Evans? Your name is Evans? Uh, yes. I see, I see. Well, this makes it much more interesting. The hell was that? Smith, come back! Who was that? No, no, I just saw who's in the... T no, no, you are not... No, just no. Sorry, but no. That is not happening on my watch. Match. Yeah, whatever. Oh, wow, Axel's gone and nearly everyone's gone. Alright, um... I'm just trying to think here. Oh, how long are we into this? We are 32 minutes in. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I kind of want to... I need to go to the club room anyway, so... I guess. Since we have to go to the club room anyway, I might as well do that. And I guess leave it there for the next episode. For this episode, rather. Meanwhile, in the club room... Oh, right. Nice. Didn't even get to save. This is Jack talking, by the way. I know you can only see the text. Oh, ho, ho! This is amazing! I've never seen a comic this racy before. I'm not really in the mood for practice at all now. Kind of didn't want to know that. Whisper, whisper, whisper. What about him? Yep, that's how people whisper. Oh no, is someone there? Yep, his skills are the real deal. Looks like his sister really is in the hospital too. Oh my god! Of course he knew! Of course he knew! You can co you can totally tell that that's Bobby and the person he's talking to is Mr. Wintersey, okay? They must be coming back already. We can easily use this to our advantage. Yes. Then he'll be forced to obey our orders. Oh no! They're, come, they're getting closer! He he he. Pardon me. I've already arranged him for it to be scouted. Really? They should be waiting for him at the back gate already. We just have to wait for the good news. Back gate. Got it. No, I can't let them see this delightfully racy comment. Ooh, hello. Ouch. Was that kind of uh, some kind of boar? Wild boar? I just went from Aussie there. Sorry. Bit of an Aussie there. What's this? What's this? Scrap paper? Gah! The writing's so horribly bad. I can't read a word. Hey, that's it. That's the missing scrap of paper that, from the special move. Nice one, where was it? Did you find it? Uh, yeah. 
That's right, it's quite difficult to get a hold of. See? Do you still think Bobby's like you suspiciously now? No, it was just me thinking too much, I guess. Just as I ex suspected. Expected. The scrap of paper is has blah, 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 blah. scrap of paper has in the Zuma Eleven written on it. It must be the right one. Speak properly, T. Rodriguez. Oh. Mark, try matching it up to the piece we got found in the library. Of course it fits. Now let's see if we can actually read that this time. Nope, still can't read it. You got the manual for Inazuma Otashi! It fits! What's it say? Yay! Mog reads it for us! Lovely. Alright, let's see. Special move Inazuma Drop. This is a co op shooting skill for two players. One must have an excellent jumping skill. Oh, one must have excellent jumping skills and the other a sturdy frame. And the method is. Yes, what the. Yes, what the method? Go boing, then pow. Yep, that's literally what it says. Go boing, then pow. Oh, Mark, your grandfather, his literature skills, his writing skills are just bad. That's it? Yeah, a good jumper and someone with a sturdy frame. Axel's a good jumper, isn't he? Now, what about that sturdy frame? Oh, here's one now. Help! Axel's in a fight by the back gate with some scary looking guys, what? Oh no, this sounds like trouble. Everyone, let's go and help Axel. Not quite yet. Alright guys, oh no, 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 actually no, I kind of don't want to do that. Because I don't have everyone with me, do I? Ah, god damn it. Um, How long are we into this? It's 37 minutes in, I kind of wanted to do something before we left off, but I guess... We can do this bit in the next episode. Hmm. I guess. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there, so... Yeah. Was there any blog entries? No. Player binder, I forgot about the player binder. Right, I'm on. Oh, hello, Hidden. There's no one here so far that I see that I really want. Alright, that's everyone. Right, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we're gonna get Millie. Just saying, that's, that's something we're getting. Once we're able to. Uh, then, I guess Frankie from Occult. And Talisman as well. Anyone from Umbrella? Cyborg, maybe. Maybe Cyborg, we'll see. And that's it for now. So, this has been T. Rodriguez, and this has been part 12. I was about to say 17 for some reason. Part 12 of Let's Play in Azuma 11 1 The Dream Begins. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. And yeah, this has been T. Roger Gessa. Traz out. And I forgot to press my record button. No! Oh no, it is on. Oh wow, okay. Alright, Traz out.